In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on the concept of addition of matrices. We already know what do we mean by addition of matrices and we have seen few examples. Now, this video is dedicated to the numerical problems. Let's see what are the solutions to the given questions. The question number one is add the matrices wherein the first part is A is given to me as a matrix, B is given to me as another matrix and I am supposed to add them. Checking whether addition is possible or not is also an important task. How many rows? One row. How many columns? Three columns. So one row, three columns, the order is one by three. Okay. What about the other matrix, matrix B? How many rows? One row. How many columns? Three columns. So again it is 1 by 3. So let me write it more beautifully. It is 1 by 3. Both having the same order 1 by 3. That means yes, the addition is possible. And since the addition is possible, I can find out the resultant matrix. So what will be the resultant matrix? The resultant matrix will be a matrix wherein each element has to be added. The first element is 0. Here it is minus 3. So the first element would become minus 3. And similarly, go towards the second element. The second element is 1 and here it is 0. So it is 1 and so on. Let's write it first. The resultant of A plus B is another matrix of the same order which is 1 by 3. Add 0 and minus 3 gives me minus 3. Correct. What about the next element? 1 and 0 gives me 1. What about the next one? Minus 3 and 1 gives me minus 2. So here we go with the first solution. What about the second problem? Let's see the second problem. Second problem has a matrix P, another matrix Q. Check the orders. 2 rows, 2 columns, 2 by 2. What about the next? 2 rows, 2 columns, 2 by 2. Both having the same order. Yes, the addition is possible. How to do the addition? Take each position and then add respective elements. Here it is 5, here it is minus 5, add together to get 5 minus 5, 0. Here it is 8, here it is minus 8, add together 8 minus 8 is again 0. Here it is 9, here it is minus 9, add together 9 minus 9 again 0. Here it is 11, here it is minus 11, again adding gives me 0. So basically I have the matrix P plus Q wherein each element is 0 and it is a 2 by 2 matrix that was talked about. Can you name this matrix? Yes, we know the knowledge of matrices and we know this type of matrix wherein each entry is 0 is called as a null matrix or a 0 matrix. Let's move on to the next question. The next question has 2 matrices S and T. S has 2 rows, 2 columns so it is 2 by 2. What about the next one? T. T has 2 rows and how many columns? 3 columns. So it is 2 by 3. Are these orders same? Yes, the rows are same but the columns are not. So the order is not same. Since the order is not same, can we add? No, addition operation cannot be performed when the orders are different. So I say that my S plus T exists. No, it does not exist. So I would say S plus T does not exist. So in this video, we saw the basic operation addition. We had some numerical problems. In the next video, we will be seeing the next operation on matrices which is known as subtraction of matrices.